KXY4 update on a dog fighting ring here in Spokane. Tonight, the two men convicted of running it may not have to spend time behind bars. A judge today authorized eight months of work release and home monitoring instead of jail time. That's just one month for each dog. KXY4's Autumn Wells joins us live from the courthouse. Autumn, despite what the judge says, could they still go to jail? Well, they could, Dave, and actually we're reporting live from scraps in the Spokane Valley. And because both Peter Nelson and Alfredo Renteria don't have criminal histories, the judge decided to put their fate in the hands of Geiger Correctional Facility and is recommending that they work and contribute to society rather than sit in jail. Now, like I said, we're here at scraps, and, oh, all the dogs just ran inside, unfortunately. But uh, what also remains unresolved is the fate of the eight dogs and if Nelson and Renteria will have to pay scraps for the incurred costs. Eight pit bulls were confiscated April 24th of last year. They were part of a dog fighting ring here in Spokane. Some as young as six months, others as old as six years. There was evidence of, of training animals for dog fighting from treadmilling to being uh, tied out with heavy logging type chains uh, with wide collars um, to car axles and some of them are scarred from uh, the fighting. For the past 11 months, they've been living at Scraps, but where they go from here is uncertain. Scraps director Nancy Hill says they're asking the court for custody of the dogs in the hopes of giving them a second chance at life, whether it be in a home or at a national rescue shelter. A lot of the national groups have learned a lot from the Michael Vick case. Uh, those dogs are in sanctuaries and rescues now, and they say there is hope in many cases. So we're clinging to that. Hill is also asking the court for $19,000 in restitution. That's how much Scraps has paid to house the dogs. As a whole, Hill says justice was served. The two men behind the ring got sentenced to eight months in jail. The dogs, however, might not get a chance at redemption. Euthanization is a possibility, but Hill hopes it won't come to that. And it's just not been a good life, and it's not been a life that they chose. It's not the life of a family pet. And we'd like to give that to them if we could. Hill says a hearing for restitution as well as the fate of each dog should happen in two to three weeks. Now this is the first dog fighting conviction in Spokane County and Hill says she hopes it'll be the last. And on a side note, Scraps is having their annual chocolate auction tomorrow. It is their biggest fundraiser of the year and uh, tickets are still available. Reporting live in the Spokane Valley, I'm Autumn Wells, KXLY4.